uh, February 27th. Uh, checking, I'm going to run a few trail cameras today. I think there's one, two, three, four that I can get to without, you know, getting into the interior of my woods where there could be some deer bedding. And uh, I don't really want to run deer off the property uh, just quite yet. Uh, the whole month of February has been just one snow ice storm after another, followed by extremely cold temperatures, and uh, the deer have just literally been pouring into my food plots every night. Uh, uh, me and the boys coming back from basketball practice the other night, at least 50 were actually in the plot. Uh, eight or 10 were trying to come from across the road that we spooked as we're coming down the blacktop and uh, even more in the field uh, over on my neighbor's ag and I know those deer were on their way so uh, and I haven't seen an antlered buck in probably about two weeks so uh, you know I want to I want them to drop those sheds on my farm if possible so I'm going to give them this weekend and the rest of next week and before I start really getting into the woods and uh, doing habitat work. Uh, but gonna go around and check a few cameras today and see what's been going on, see if any any bucks are still holding and uh, not gonna really look for sheds, but good chance I could find one. So uh, we'll see what we get here. Well, there's still still some pickings here, but uh, I mean the, the standing beans. Have, you know, there's a, it's a good acre here of it. <clears throat> it's pretty well picked clean. I mean, there's definitely still a few pods here that they can get to, but I mean this it's been just trampled. We'll see what we got on up. You don't see as many deer in the turnips as you do the standing beans, but they are definitely, just about every turnip has at least one bite out of it, but there's still still a lot of pickings there. Uh, you know, if you're still, still feeding deer going into March, I think you've done well with your food plot program. That camera right there, I left a little bit of this screening uh and i tied some together and may put a put a camera there so we'll see what that one's got <laughs> 